Hi, I'm Steve Troy, the CEO and founder of Aerofund Financial. Welcome to the Aerofund Business History Minute. You might not recognize the name Ezra Cornell, but I'm sure you've heard of the institution that bears his name, Cornell University. It wasn't that uncommon in, during the 1800s for millionaires to start or endow colleges. Vanderbilt, Duke, Drexel, Cooper Union, and Spelman, named after John D. Rockefeller's wife, are just a few of the many be wealthy benefactors. So who is Ezra Cornell, and just how did he get a university named after him? Ezra was a self-made millionaire who made his fortune in glass insulators and telephone poles. Ezra's rise to millionaire status occurred as the result of a chance meeting with one of the greatest inventors of all time, Samuel Morris. Morris, as you might know, was the inventor of the telegraph. His famous dots and dashes of the Morris Code changed how we communicate around the world. When Ezra and Morris paths crossed, Morris was struggling to come up with a solution to prevent his telegraph cables from corroding. Before Cornell, the preferred method was to lay cable and bury it in the ground. Unfortunately, poor insulation and moisture corroded the wires beneath the earth, rendering them useless. Cornell, familiar with the problem, assured Morris he had an easy and cheap solution. Why bury the cables, he said. Let's hang them. Cornell's plan was to stretch the wires on poles between cities. To prevent the wires from failing from ground shorts, Ezra invented the glass insulator you see on telephone poles today. Cornell's methods were so successful, he was rewarded with, the, with a partnership and the first presidency of the new telegraph company. Several years later, when Morris's telegraph companies were merged with that of a rival, Cornell's interests were converted into two million shares of the new company, Western Union, making Cornell a millionaire many times over. If you know someone who could benefit from Aerofund Financial's accounts fuel services, take a minute, give us a call.